everyone. We're going to make a fruit salad today, so we're going to talk you through the fruit that we have here. Here I've got some bananas. Do we know where bananas come from? Bananas grow on the trees. Well done. And what about apples? Apples also grow on trees. <laughs> so we've already washed our hands, and our hands are nice and clean. Make sure you wash your hands before you make your fruit salad at home as well. So we have a green chopping board, a green chopping board is what we use for our fruits and vegetables. We have different colour chopping boards in the kitchen for different types of foods. And we also have our safety knives as well, which you need to be very careful with because they are sharp. So first I'm going to cut an apple, I'll show you what's inside. We have some little pips inside the apple. So what we'll do is, if we just cut it again and then we can cut the pips out. You might need an adult to help you because it is a little bit sharp. What did your banana feel like, Amy? My banana feels very slimy and very slippery, so we have to be careful when we cut it. Make sure our hands are away from the knife when we are cutting it. My apple is very hard. I got my apples out of the fridge. Have a little feel of the fruit that you use at home for your fruit salad and tell us what it feels like. I'm cutting my banana into circles. What shapes are you cutting yours into, Amy? Mine are cut into semicircles. Can you tell me what colour my apple is? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pieces of apple I cut up. Okay, now we're going to put the banana into our bowl with apples, start making our fruit salad and mixing it together. Be careful picking the banana up though right because it is really slippery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There is a lot of banana here. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. That is a lot of banana. See how far you can count when you're chopping up your apples and bananas and whatever fruit you use. And then if you need some help counting further, then your adult can help you. Now we are going to cut up some grapes to add to our fruit salad. Now we have to be careful with these because we need to cut them the correct way, don't we, Amy? We do indeed. So when we're cutting a grape, we need to cut it in half. And then we need to cut it in half again. So you have two little bits like this. So for one whole grape, if you have two bits for half, another two bits for the other half, that means you're going to have four. Do you have a favourite fruit, Amy? My favourite fruit is pineapple. Do you like pineapple, Amy? I do like pineapple, I'm not. So now I've just cut my grapes safely for the children to eat, which is cutting them into four pieces, and now I'm just going to add them to the fruit salad. And that is our fruit salad complete. The children are going to love this for lunch. So we're going to go and give this to the children for their pudding now. Um, if you make your fruit salads at home, let us know what fruit you're using and get your um, mummies and daddies to put pictures on your learning journals and you can tell us all about it. 
Don't forget to um, look at our YouTube channel. There will be activities on there throughout the month for all the parents to do stuff with their children at home. Um, and we hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Bye.